it's um, quite a scary moment in the world right now, but all we can do is be positive, seek opportunity, and be incredibly grateful for our health. Personal trainer Vicky Cumberworth helps to motivate women and spreads positivity over Instagram. She has opened her own gym and kept your sessions online and in person. I think especially over the last seven or so years, I've really niched into helping women not just lose weight because it's just like that's a great byproduct of getting fit and getting healthy. But my main thing is like helping women really become that very best version of themselves. The fitness industry has kind of taken a shift and I think it's a good shift um, in that actually people are putting their mental health before they're putting their physical health and there's a different um, kind of mentality towards exercise and eating well and I think it's to genuinely improve how they feel about themselves. Along with looking after your physical health, understanding your mental health is a vital part of being happy. Holly Morsley is a third year Salford University student and Gadio presenter who has struggled with anxiety and depression during the pandemic. Um, so my stepdad um, has had a stroke in June and then he sadly passed away in uh, September. Um, and that kind of brought on a lot of, September was probably my lowest moment of last year. Do you feel that being in lockdown made your mental health worse? I would definitely say it was isolation was a massive contributing factor to it because at that point it, they hadn't lifted restrictions enough that I could go back. I, there was what I remember just at one point, like I was having panic attacks all the time um, and just being like, I want to go home. I just want to be at home with my mum, even if it's just for a day. To distract herself, Holly gained interest in the popular app TikTok. I think one of the big things that I would advise to anyone is just to find a, find a hobby. Find something just to throw your mind into. Throughout this series, I've discovered that everyone's perspective on happiness is different. Holly explains hers to me. So even if you can't find happiness, that's okay. Because I bloody haven't. No one in this world is 100% happy. Because when you have depression, happiness is like the dream. But contentness is where you need to be.